Hi, welcome back to your YouTube channel where I have been down here working very hard to find new ways to abuse the building mechanics and I think I have earned myself some dinner. So can you can you please bring me that? Thank you. You know that last time when I showed you how to make that Minecraft thing? Well, this time I'm going to show you how to make that bridge from that one Josh Hutcherson movie. Um, bridge to Sethora? Something like that. Except this time, it's not going to emotionally devastate you as a child. And you can use it to do stuff like this in a single structure. And like this, which is a single structure. And you can tell that it's a single structure because these top flat roofs are being supported by these foundations down here at the bottom. It's all one. It's all connected. Now before we get into it, Eventually, you may find yourself asking, why is this important? What does this do? This just looks like a very complicated way of doing nothing. And here's your answer. If you didn't know, or you haven't been able to make sense of it yet, each foundation can support two pieces away from it. The roof directly above this foundation is not counted in those two pieces that it can support away from it. So one, two, and I can't have a third. Now say you run into a situation where you just can't build straight anymore, or you can't build connected foundations anymore, such as this. Oh no, I've run into the water and I cannot build any more foundations connected to this one, but I have a structure above that I still want to build out. What am I gonna do? Right, so it, you can't build any further than this. With this trick, you can continue building. Okay, I hope that makes sense. Now in the newest Power World update, version 2.0.6, the one that came with Bella Noir, or Bella Noir, however you would like to pronounce it, they allow you to attach the flat roof directly to your foundation. Now before the update, I was actually gonna make a video on this because I figured it out then. You could have done the same trick, but you just needed walls. Now you don't need walls. So it actually makes it look a lot better. So here's how it works. You take your foundation, can't build any further for whatever reason. You build out your roof pieces, okay? And then the game allows you, just like in the Minecraft block one, you can force a connection between the wooden roof and the additional foundation. Now this way is a lot easier than the other one because one, you have a much better camera angle. You can actually see where you need it to be connected at and two there is a much easier way to check if it's connected so you line the edges up make sure they're basically as close as they can get without overlapping and then they touch and then you want it to be a little over halfway up like that okay just like how that is like that and you can check if it's connected if it allows you to place a wall if you can place a wall on this foundation or the wooden roof or whatever, then you know you've connected. If you haven't, this is what it would look like if you have, don't have it connected. And I'll get it close just to kind of really drive home the point. Also, if you've noticed, I've been able to do this a little bit easier because I am lining it up directly with the cardinal directions. People left that in the comments on one of my other videos, which has actually made uh, building a lot easier so thank you very much for that i do appreciate it so this you know it's pretty close right it's pretty close but i it's pretty it's too low it is too low so i cannot place a wall right here now you don't actually need the wall okay you don't actually need the wall you can just delete it but now these two foundations are linked and you can test that per usual by just building out above it and look at that Boom, 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 boom. Now there are several variations to this, okay? Um, or You don't have to just keep these two flat roofs. You can use different pieces actually, and I'll show you. I already have them built. So this is one way you can build it. Stairs will actually now count towards this connection and you can continue building the stairs up. I think you would only be able to get two, um, but if you're on a hill, or something where you can build this second foundation right here a little bit higher then you can continue using the stairs but as you can see above this foundation is connected to this one below and then if you do it correctly you can put a maximum of three spaces between both of the foundations and i'll show you how to do that real quick so first unfortunately 
you will need to be able to connect them two apart, okay? I've got bad news and bad news. If for some reason you are not able to add a connecting foundation to units of measurement, whatever you wanna call it, away from the original foundation, then you can't actually make them three units of measurement away, which seems counterintuitive. Don't worry, I'll get it. Mm, I think it's a little, yeah. I think that one also is not gonna work. By the way, the I've seen some people wonder if it still works the block technique or the minecraft block or the being able to connect walls to the bottom of the foundation or you know connect through different heights it still does work i just used it yesterday for one of the builds you saw earlier now once you have the two foundations connected two pieces apart two units of measurement apart to whatever once you have that two apart build another one the new foundation back here that we just placed it is exactly one foundation away from the other one. So this roof will line up. And what you need to do, you have to delete this middle one because if you try to just do this, it's going to try to connect to that instead of this foundation. It'll just show that there's not enough support. Even if you're like hovering over this foundation trying to connect it. So we'll delete this. Don't worry, it'll work. <laughs> Now you can connect this, and since this middle piece is both one away from both of these foundations, it's it'll let you place it. And now, these foundations are three units of measurement apart, and they're still connected. And as you can see, these aren't even... I did a poor job lining it up here. Once you get to four, um, there's not enough support for the... Okay, I'll fucking lie, okay? And then once you have this two connection, if you don't want it to just be flat roofs, it's very easy to change. A good practice to get into if you're gonna start using this kind of exploitation of mechanics is build the foundation that you just connected out one. Because if you delete this foundation for whatever reason, you're gonna have to do the connection all over again. But if you build it out one, you'll always have a place where you can automatically reconnect. So I'm actually going to do that now. If you want to change these from flat roofs, the easiest way to do that, you can just start building on top of the roofs you just built, whatever you would like. It's going to say not enough support. However, if you do it this way like that, then you can delete this, delete those. And now these are connecting the two foundations. Oh, right. Just like that. Hey, look at that. Come on. And then you can use it to make these very nice looking bridges that are actually functionally connected to each other. Um, this one is diagonal for speed purposes. I just lined it up with the cardinal directions, but it is actually functional. Um, pals will recognize this connection just like they do the, the Minecraft connection, the block technique connection. And if you don't think they do recognize it, here's a clip of some random pals recognizing this connection. This is like the fifth shiny I've seen today, to be honest. Now, once you get that down and you're able to make that connection very easily and very quickly, you can combine that technique with the block technique from my last video. And you can begin to make unfinished things like I have, um, like this, where I had to build a bridge. I used the trick from this video in combination with the block technique um, here to connect these foundations up to these ones. And then I connected these foundations up to i think there's some foundations right here and then these foundations up to this one single foundation up here so that way i'm able to build out this is an unfinished build but you can see the use case for this right nope. and if you still don't understand 
If I delete any of these two in a row, one, two, uh, or three, this, uh, a majority of this build will come crashing down. I'm not going to do it. Actually, I might do it just for the example. Hmm. One hour later. I'll do it for the example. Okay, I'll do it for the example. If you don't understand, typically, you can't connect foundations like this. But with this trick and the block technique trick, I'm able to connect these bottom foundations to a single foundation all the way at the top of this rock okay so here we go uh let me get my fingers on the alt f4 button okay this is the worst <laughs> um yes i did it by the way all right now that i gave myself that heart attack for you guys i am gonna go change my pants if you enjoyed if you learned something or if you want to tell me how much you dislike your YouTube channel, let me know in the comments or give it a thumbs up because for every one of those, I get to turn on the AC for one minute. Thanks a bunch and thanks for watching. Anyways, peace, love your friends, and I hope you didn't look at the eclipse with no glasses. Okay, bye.